One of the biggest rallies this campaign season was held in Iowa City today. First Lady Michelle Obama made her second stop in the state for Senate candidate Bruce Braley. CBS 2 News reporter Kevin Barry is live there now with what this means for the Iowa City area. Kevin. Scott and Tiffany, at this point in the campaign season, there really aren't very many people who haven't made up their mind yet. But rallies like the one today still serve a purpose, even if the candidates and the people they bring in nationally are already talking to people who are already going to vote their way. So, silly question, but who, who are you voting for? <laughs> it is a silly question. Yeah. It's Bruce Braley that's getting Jay Miller's vote, but it's the first lady that brought Jay to the event. It's a very, very, very exciting. I love First Lady Michelle Obama. REA and Jay have known they'd be voting for Braley for a while now, but that doesn't mean that seeing the First Lady is any less fun for them. I know why you're here. I mean, let's be honest. But it's not the diehard supporters that the First Lady is here for. It's the people they'll talk to, especially in Iowa City, for the Democrats. I know that Bruce is going to fight for your families every single day in the Senate. When Senator Tom Harkin came through last week, he told the crowd at the Hamburg Inn that in a race as close as this one, it could be a place like Iowa City that makes the difference. I need you to keep making phone calls. I need you to keep knocking on doors. I need you to keep helping get these absentee ballots in. Putting in hard work, even in the city that's already mostly blue. With having these strong pockets of democratic liberalism, that they're, they are a loud voice. They make themselves heard, and they carry that message forward, and we need that. The point of the event today was to promote early voting in Iowa, and almost all the polls that we've been looking at have this race at a completely dead heat. But those same polls say that as far as early voting goes, the Democrats have the advantage by far by a long shot. Covering the corridor in Iowa City, Kevin Barry, CBS 2 News.